Let's just get this out of the way. I'm obsessed with Target. Like they could take all my money all day every day. I've never ever been the type of girl to go buy bathing suits, but when Target started like really vamping up their swimsuit line, they just, oh my gosh. I recently got three swimsuit sets that I just wanted to show off a little bit, get Target some more sales. But anyways, before I show you, I just wanted to have a little chat. I was not always the smallest, skinniest, prettiest girl. I'm gonna insert a picture here of what I look like in freshman year of high school. I'm not showing you guys this to be like, oh my God, she glowed up so much. No, I'm telling you this story for two reasons. First and foremost, it's for me. Like I, I need to get off my chest that I know I'm doing this for the right reasons and not to be like, I don't know, bragging. As I mentioned in my last video, when I show my food, when I show my outfits, when I tag different companies that that I get my stuff from. The whole point of that is so other girls or guys or whoever can find those same things and enjoy them just as much as I do. And that leads into my second point. I think Target, and this is the reason I love them so much, is so inclusive in terms of like body sizing and it looks cute on everyone. I only got three because I can't break my bank, but trust me when I say there are so many bathing suits to choose from. I sound like a walking free Target advertisement, but I swear to you. And in the try on section of this vlog, I kind of show you how it fits and if I would size up or size down or whatever. And I hate when people try and hide where their stuff's from. Like, no, just tell me so I can twim with you. Okay, so now that that's all out there, let's get into the try on part. So the top is just this neon hot pink halter top and it ties in the back like this. For reference, this is a size medium and I know it looks kind of small, but I think if I went up one more to a large, it wouldn't like hold them in as tight. Here's a closer look at the fabric. It's just like this ribbed thick material, which I really, really like. It does keep the girls in which is so good because I'm one of those people that like actually swims like I don't just tan like I go in the ocean and swim 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 and the bottoms are just that same material and it matches really cute I love it okay so this next one I'm still not sure how I feel about it I don't know what this material is called but I would describe it as like a grainy type the way it holds up are these like cute little bow ties bottoms are the same material if I'm being honest I don't know if this style is right for me but a bunch of my friends have these types of suits and I wanted to try it, so we'll see how that goes. I really like the color, so if you're into like sagey greens and that like type of aesthetic, this is perfect for you. Also, I just wanted to say, I have kind of bigger, and I'm not sure if this top is perfect for that, <laughs> but this will probably be one of those suits for tanning since it is so low cut. On to the next one. Okay, so this is the last one I got from Target. It's probably my favorite. Actually, it is my favorite. This style of suit is very much in right now, like the underwire and like the ruching at the top and the bottom, same thing. It has like that ruching and they pull up. So it's more like a Brazilian style. Hope you enjoyed that little mini haul. I know I enjoyed buying everything. No, but seriously, I'm obsessed with them and I can't wait for summer. But for now it is 12, 17 and I'm gonna make lunch. I've never had this vegan mac and cheese before, but I'm gonna try it. As I get older, I'm realizing more and more that cheese just is not gonna work for me. I'm truly making an effort to listen to my body this year and my body says no cheese. I know that I am not the only one that feels like this. So on behalf of all the girls that have bad stomachs, you're welcome. I wasn't gonna make this whole thing, but like, look how nothing's in it. It's like when you open those bags of chips and half of it's air, like this is air. Watch me do my running game. I'll never do that again. Oh, I'm out of breath. So what are you guys doing today? After lunch, I have to do a little bit of homework because I have class today at six. Really not looking forward to it. It ends at nine and by nine o'clock, I'm just dead. If you're wondering, this shirt is also from Target. Target, just like this is your sign. Please sponsor me, please. My bank account will love you forever, come on. One of my friends was telling me that I never tell you guys to subscribe. So like, please subscribe if you want. <laughs> Another thing that is super cool is I have 97 subscribers. This may not seem like a lot to you, but to me, when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm gonna go bonkers. I've really gotten into the habit of celebrating every little thing in life, so those little things just mean so much to me. The water is boiling, we're in business. Let's put you guys back up here. Now we wait. Who's calling? Autumn! Hi! I'm vlogging. Oh, hello. Ah. My mac and cheese is done. Here's what she looks like. It smells like, and don't hate me, kinda smells like Play-Doh a little bit. Okay, if you like Kraft mac and cheese and like normal mac and cheese, 
you're gonna hate this. I don't mind it, just because I know it's not gonna make me feel like bad later. Taste-wise, I prefer normal mac and cheese, but if I have to sacrifice a little bit of taste for not feeling like crap later, then I'm okay with this. I'm gonna be real with you guys, I don't really have anything else cool planned for today. I have class and I have to make a graphic later, but I'm gonna save this till later. Right now, I think I'm gonna read this book. It's called Atomic Habits, Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results. One of my 2021 goals is to read more. Last year, I was really lenient on myself because if I had to read something for school, I'd be like, oh, that's my reading for today. I'm gonna start reading this book and I think it's very up my alley. Like that's exactly what I wanna do is break bad habits, build good ones. Here, we can do story time. One-time actions that lock in good habits. Nutrition, buy a water filter to clean your drinking water. Use smaller plates to reduce calorie intake. Happiness, get a dog. Move to a friendly social neighborhood. Sleep, buy a good mattress. Get blackout curtains. Remove your television from your bedroom. General health, get vaccinated. Buy good shoes to avoid back pain. Buy a supportive chair or standing desk. Finance, enroll in an automatic savings plan. Set up automatic bill pay. Cut cable service, ask service providers to lower your bills. Productivity, unsubscribe from emails, turn off notifications and mute group chats. You don't even have to worry about that, no one talks to me. Set your phone to silent, use email filters to clean up your inbox, delete games and social media off your phone. You're already here first. Obviously I'm gonna read the whole thing. But I wanna choose a page and read something from it, so do what you will with that. I can already tell that this is gonna be a pretty short video, but I hope you guys enjoyed my Target haul, making vegan mac and cheese, and whatever else I did, because I already forgot. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!